Okay, so this is day one of our cycling trip in Morocco. Today we are leaving Marrakech and we are heading up over the high Atlas Mountains on our way out to the Sahara Desert. So, exciting day. Today's ride is 67 kilometers. I think about 400 meters of climbing and the rest is uh, and about uh, 1,500 meters of descending. So hopefully it should be a reasonably easy day. The weather has been really hot. Uh, yesterday was 35 degrees, so it's unseasonably warm here right now. So we're hoping for some cooler temperatures today. And what are you doing right now, Catherine? In, pre in preparation for our ride today. I am having my coffee. So, my recovery is only 57%. Kind of hoping that's not going to impact the way I ride today. My knees have also been bothering me a little bit. So. so we are on the bus. Only came up the call. Oh, yeah. We are right left, being driven oh, yeah. to the Atlas Mountains. Riding out of Marrakesh would have been <laughs> not a great experience. Just own where you're going. But you enjoyed it yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Weather is nice. It's pretty bit cooler when we get up there. Yeah. Although we're getting up there close to late morning, close to midday. So we'll have warmed up again. And we'll be at 24... 2,800 meters. 2,800 meters. 2,400 meters. We are riding two valleys to get from the crest of the Atlas Mountains to the border of the Sahara Desert. The call is actually called Tizi and at 2300 meters is the highest pass, the highest paved pass uh, in Morocco. We'll, we'll be riding in the foothills of mountains as we descend today uh, and then get into some very tight gorges um, for the next couple of days of riding and pass a, uh, some, uh, some kasbahs that have incredible historical significance. Are we there yet? <laughs> <laughs> Yesterday when we were walking through the Medina, did you guys see a few rocks fell out of one of the walls as we were going past? Yeah. They're with the other guy. <laughs> oh, you. Okay, so we are at the top of the coal. And, uh, or we've fairly close to the top. And then we're going to head down into, out towards the Sahara Desert. Shout out to squad. Betty squad. I'm looking forward to this. Any apprehension? No. Maybe there should be. Maybe that's a scary thing, but no. Okay. Well, you know how much I love going downhill, right? So we have apparently um, a descent of 1,500 meters um, coming up. So that's not going to be my favorite thing. I am wearing my vest just in case. I mean, it's, it's warm up here. I don't, and it doesn't feel cold, but just in case when we descend, if it's going to get massive speeds I'm going to be getting to is what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know if you can see it up there, but little packs of snow.
Okay, so we just came off the call. Teachka. Now. Teachka call. And we're heading down into the valley. Legs are feeling good. Um, the road is fabulous, so it, it's, uh, it's good so far. Riding in the group has been good. <laughs> no, it's been fun so far. Fears, concerns. Well, you know, I don't love to say that, so we've um, still got a long way to go. So just one little sweep and turn after the other. The descending continues. descent like it's nothing it's not the big bar death drop so I'm happy <laughs> How's everyone enjoying Morocco? Okay, so we just stopped for a little afternoon snack and in about 15 kilometers we're stopping for lunch. The terrain is just so amazing. Wow, is that the Casbah over there? That's the Casbah. Okay. And when I was here a few years ago, it was twice as high as it is now. Really? That's horrible. Wow. What a shame. Wow. Hello. Okay, so why, why is your helmet on, Catherine? Well, I thought it was time to go when everyone else is relaxed. They're having their tea and Look I'm... at everyone around you, Catherine. Yeah, everyone's just... Does it look like okay, they're getting noodle, ready to go? What can I say? I'm a noodle. I mean, we yeah. usually put on our hats for tea as well. <laughs> well how, was, how was lunch for you? Oh, you know what? I've been so full since we arrived from, you know, the fabulous meals that we, well, on the plane, and then since we've been here, and then I didn't realize the snack stop wasn't lunch, um, so we had that, and then we had a snack, we had a full-on lunch now, um, which was fabulous, so I had to not eat much of it, but it was fabulous, and then we're having dinner tonight. I'm not going to be able to ride. <laughs> be too full, you'd roll me along the road. <laughs> so this is the Casbah in the background. 
and Matt was saying that when he was here three years ago, it was twice as tall. So the earthquake that hit last year obviously did some pretty significant damage. We've le left Tel Telouet, where we had lunch. The first 30 kilometers of the ride apparently took us a little longer than expected. And we've still got about 40 kilometers to go. Hello. Gone? Has it been a challenging ride? Okay. I mean, everything's a bit of a challenge that haven't done much training, but no, it's not a challenging ride. Okay, so uh, it's a little after five o'clock, and we've still got about 15, 20 kilometers to go. Uh, so we're gonna have to pick up the pace here.
Wow. Right now. Do they add up? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the way they should be. Like, sort of short. But, 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 wait, 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 what I want to <laughs> say is a, a, thousand, a thousand meters like that are easier than going a thousand meters. Oh, yeah. 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 So, did everyone enjoy today's ride? Amazing. Uh, Amazing. Yeah. Yeah. It wasn't far enough. It wasn't far enough? Oh, sorry. Um, we kind of ran out of daylight, though, Sue. Yeah. <laughs>